Hello guys, so if you're looking to create an account in SendGrid, so that's the case, you're going to do right click. Because today in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. Now, firstly open your browser and just simply type in SendGrid.com. Now, after that, let me give you a quick description about SendGrid. So what SendGrid does is, it will send multiple emails without you actually having an email server. So that's the gist of it. Now, to create an account, what you have to do is just simply click on start for free at the top right corner. Then after that, just simply click I'm not robot, choose this option, then enter the email address and a password. So after that, just simply hit create account. Now over here, it will ask multiple questions like your name, last name, company website, company name, your country code, your phone number, the role you play in your business, number of emails that you will send per month and the number of employees working under you. So. Just simply fill up all the details. Now, after filling all the details, just simply click on get started. Now it will send a 2F verification link at your email. So just simply go to your inbox and check that. Now in your inbox, you should have received the email. Now all you have to do is just simply click on set up two-factor authentication. Click on that and it will again redirect you to your send grid page. So just simply click on again, I'm not a robot. Then just simply choose whatever it asks. Then just simply click get started. Then choose the authenticator app to do the authentication. Now after that, for the authentication, you can use the application which is mentioned over here. You can just download that and register with the same email address that is used for the SendGrid account. Or you can just simply use a text SMS for doing the authentication. So just simply choose any of the options. So I'm going to choose the application version. You can choose the text version if you want to. So just simply choose any of the options and click next. Then enter your phone number and code. And after that, just simply hit next. Now wait for the authentication to appear on the phone application. So after the code appears on your device, just simply enter that over here. Then after that, just simply hit save. And that's it. Now you can just simply click on go to login and login with the username and password. So I'm going to do that. Then after that, just simply click on login. Now it will again send a two-factor authentication on the device. So enter the code. Then hit continue. Now you're inside the central dashboard. So that's it. And thank you for watching. And do like and subscribe to my channel. And take care.